Hello and thank you for joining us on Newsweek, where we highlight some of the biggest stories that made the headlines recently. I am Jacinta Aguchuku. This week, NLC pushes for new LP convention as cracks widen in the PDP. Also this week, Edo House of Assembly impeaches Philip Sharubo later on the show. Naira nears 1,000 Naira per dollar amid CBN's intervention. All the details in a moment. Stay with us. Well, this week, the leadership crisis rocking the Labour Party de uh, deepened further as the political commission of the Nigerian Labour uh, Congress, including some party stakeholders, called for a fresh national convention. This development followed heightened internal conflicts within the party and the NLC's renewed commitment to reclaim the party control from the national chairman, Barrister Julio Saburi, over his role in a div uh, divisive national convention. At the end of the party stakeholders meeting in Abuja, attended by notable party figures, they agreed to constitute a transition committee led by the NLC Political Commission to create party structures at all levels and prepare for an all-inclusive and expansive national convention within three months. I have joining me to discuss this in the studio, Justice Eugenio, a lawyer. Welcome to the show. It's my pleasure. All right, let's start. Let, let me start with asking you how you've reacted to uh, this uh, dynamics, uh, internal uh, crisis within. They speak clear to these two parties, PDP and LP. What has been your reactions? Okay, generally, I, I think that uh, <laughs> most of the crisis is, is neophytic, is, is because they are, they are being childish. And of course, sometimes it's because mm. of the nature of the jostle for power. But uh, having said that, I must state the disadvantage of, of this kind of situation. It is that the people who are supposed to be the beneficiary, the customers, mm. the consumers, they are going to be the worst for it. It is very, very good for there to be competitive and a positive rivalry when it comes to a political space, mm. especially when there is a, a party in power. It is for the benefit of the APC for there to be competitive uh, opposition. opposition. But again, <laughs> APC is supposed to, it's not their fault. Uh, as far as they are not doing anything illegal, whatever it is they are doing to, uh, to, to carry the day, I, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. So generally, whatever it is, and again, most especially, the role that uh, NLC is playing in Labour Party I feel it is very, very unhealthy and uncalled for. Whatever it is that NLC wants to do, if even they end up taking control of the Labour Party, it will create a serious situation of conflict of interest. We saw what played out in Imo State, where NLC couldn't uh, separate itself from, from either being a pressure group, a proper Labour group, or a political party. It looked like a, a labor group wants to take over uh, political activities. I feel that it is unhealthy for our democracy. Anybody that feels that they want to participate in, po in politics and political power as distinct from fighting for the struggle of the common everyday worker, the person should uh, take off the heart of labor unionism and go and properly jostle for political power. Because I feel that it is not in the interest of workers at all mm. for, for, for NLC to also now take over a proper political party, especially a political party that is as competitive as the Labour Party. I'm right, saying with your point that uh, these parties are more like uh, displaying childish uh, behaviours and all of that, and as well the issue of formidable opposition parties. Isn't it time for the stakeholders of those political parties to really come in. People like talk of uh, PDP, Atiku, nothing, you hear him say anything concerning the party, you know, the crisis, you know, resolutions on how to uh, put their um, homes together. I, I think it's, it's very, you have made a very, very valid point. And I feel that it is very, very unfortunately so. 
the PDP, for example, I feel that the PDP missed it when it fielded uh, Atiku Abuaka uh, as its candidate because mm -hmm. Buhari just had a, a bite at uh, power for, for uninterrupted for eight years, and it will be very, very unwise and undemocratic, especially in the interest of federal character, for power again to have gone to the north. And for very, very good reason, there was a internal political crisis for that reason alone in the PDP. And it is the major reason why the PDP couldn't uh, uh, competitively vie for power mm -hmm. in the past election. So I feel that maybe that's why the Waziri was not uh, comfortable, couldn't go all out and, and jostle for power in the past election. I feel that... You, that you think what, what happened in the past election is still playing a huge impact in this whole crisis? To a large extent, yes. The divisions that, that were caused in, in the past election, for example, a week against, uh, mm. against Atiku, is still there. It's still very enduring. Even though it, it, it now appears to us that Maybe WK is becoming weaker and weaker because the persons who peg their, their tents uh, with him uh, are, are bidding him goodbye. But again, it's the nature of politics. Eventually, people gravitate towards, towards power. And as the situation stands, Fubara is power.